Hello everyone, Paul with High Tech Legion. We're going to be doing a quick overview of the RC Bluetooth connection that is available with the ASUS Maximus 4 Extreme motherboard for the Sandy Bridge processor, which is a P67 chipset. Basically what this does is it allows you to remotely control and monitor your system settings in your, from your BIOS via your Android phone, via a, an iPhone or some other media. I've already installed the programs. Uh, the programs can consist of ROG Connect and ROG Connect Plus. Of course there's also an app for your Android phone that you need to install. As you can see up on the desktop right now, I do have CPU-Z and the sensor recorder up. Now what we will do is I'll put my cell phone in front, I will hit the ROG Connect button, and it will connect with the system. And now as you can see, you can see what my CPU ratio is you can see what the base clock is CPU, CPU SA, IO, the DRAM settings CPU PLL, the PCH settings, the PCH PLL settings now just say I wanted to go ahead and change my CPU ratio now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and hit the advanced button change that to 37 I will go ahead and hit apply and now it will change my settings automatically and I'll be running a 37 multiplier on this now if we go to the monitor which is on the phone this will allow you to monitor your voltages to make sure what you have CPU, CPU SA, CPU IO, DRAM, CPU PLL, PCH, PCH PLL, NF200 chipset. You could also monitor your temperatures. Right now my CPU is running at 29 Celsius. Gives you your CPU socket temperatures and optional temperatures. The optional temperatures are, there are three extra probes that come with this and you can put them in and you can monitor those temperatures also. Now of course if you look, I've changed it to fan speeds, I can monitor my fan speeds. I have the power fan connected and the CPU fan, it's telling me my RPMs on each. Then we could go to frequencies and it will give you your base clock frequency and your uh, your your memory frequency. Going back to the overclock, as I said once I clicked apply it changed it to 37 as you can see there. Now if I wanted to go up with my base clock I could go ahead and hit that just say let's go to 100.6 on that hit apply and now my now my, bu my uh, bus frequency is 100.6. If I hit refresh on the bottom here, it will show, it will refresh, refresh all the settings. Now one good thing about this is, you can see your RC poster now. What this basically does is, you could remotely turn on your computer via the ROG, the uh, RC Bluetooth and it will show you your boot sequence, sequence on, on boot up. The next function on the menu is the PC remote and with PC remote you can power off, turn on, force shut down, reset and clear your CMOS via Bluetooth. we have the display settings and this will show you ask you what you want to display CPU ratio, base clock, voltages, etc. and of course your profiles 
Now, if you have an overclocking overclock profile, you could save the profile on that when you when you achieve a uh, achieve the the right settings that you want. Save it and load that, or load another profile. You could save two on this. I'm going to go ahead and do the RC remote. And let's go ahead and power off the system. It'll ask you if you want to power it off. Click yes. And as you notice, the system is shutting down. This has been a short overview of the RC Bluetooth connection for the Asus Maximus Extreme Maximus 4 Extreme Motherboard. Thank you.